Hey, I'm Art Drunk, and this is a very exciting video, the first in a series of unboxing artwork. Today we're here at Gray in New York in their 60th anniversary show, unboxing a very special piece by Bob Thompson. So what we're looking at today is a piece by Bob Thompson created in 1963 called Gathering. It was exhibited in, in Gray's very first exhibition back in 1964. 63. Okay, also 63. <laughs> and was actually the one of the first pieces Richard Gray himself had ever sold. So let's take a closer look. I'll kind of give you a brief overview of why I selected this work, why I think it's representative of Bob Thompson, and of course also why it's unique. Cool, so this, this is the piece. Some of the characteristics that you'll notice with Bob Thompson's work is of course the color. That's for me what always just jumps out. Really vivid, you know, blues, oranges, these reds over here. Something you'll learn if you read more into his work is that he's very inspired by jazz. When I go to a jazz club or when I go to a music festival, I do get that sense of, of course, the liveliness, the, the rhythm that I'm finding in his work, but of course also the lights that you might experience in those kinds of environments. Something else you'll see with his work is kind of religious imagery, as well as just processionary kinds of compositions. And the piece, of course, is titled Gathering. He also takes a lot of references from Renaissance and old masters. So someone you'll hear referenced a lot is Piero della Francesca, who's an early Renaissance painter, a lot of these like religious kind of imagery, uh, but also similar colors where it's quite bright, quite bold. You know, he was painting at a time and working at a time when pop and minimalist art was, was more the rage. At the time, you might not have been interested in Renaissance art, but he finds a way to pull the imagery to then take it into a more modern contemporary time. Bob Thompson was included in the very first Richard Gray Gallery show. And it's a piece that's been with the same family ever since that show as well. The provenance of this is incredible to just be able to hold on to it for, with one family for that period of time. But of course, it's also incredible to now see it in the space, to hold it, to engage with it, and to, to feel the history that's been kind of passed through with this work. Something else I really love about drawings in particular is to me, they feel a lot more intuitive. The mark making is very immediate, but here it's you see every single line, every single detail. Just recently, I did a studio visit with an artist who did pastel works, and you could hear the way she was scraping the paper with the pastel, but really the way how the grain of the paper kind of picks up certain parts. Other aspects that are really nice are these hats. He often wore this, this very stylized hat where you could say it's a self-portrait in that way of like this moment is, is Bob himself, but you'll find it in a lot of his, his artworks where he's kind of inserting himself within the context of these old masters. Because of so many of the artworks at that time being around pop and minimalist greats, really a lot of the artists that are behind us here, many of them being white men, it is very important to note how he is also in introducing himself into that, that broader context of these people. Oh, actually, this is good too, to, to talk about. So is it okay if I hold it like this? Okay. But I think something that's cool about also handling artwork that you, know, you don't get to see every day is the back of, of the frames. Here you have some of the labels of like the framer, a stamp here with, oh yeah, talking about how it's glazed in plexiglass. But yes, this is the back of the piece. So now we're gonna move into some of the ephemera. Yeah, because I forget what's in here, so it'll be nice to just kind of discover it on camera. <laughs> here we have a few objects. So I guess this is the invitation. Can you? Oh, even closer. How's that? Yeah, so this is the invitation to the inaugural show at Richard Gray Gallery in Chicago, 1963. I think something that's so funny looking at ephemera like this is the original price list from the show. Thompson here, number 19, so, oh no, just kidding, this one. Thompson, number six, Gathering, which refers to this piece here, was $175 at the time. I think a pretty good deal. So, so yeah, we'll switch over to this. So this is material from his solo exhibition at Richard Gray. I haven't read through this. Do you know the context of the note? So this is a letter from Bob Thompson to Richard Gray when Bob was in Italy. Here's a self-portrait. Yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of it. Thanks for watching. That was the first in our series of unboxing artwork videos with Art Drunk uh, here at Gray in New York with the amazing Bob Thompson. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, certainly, comment if you enjoyed this this video. 
I really enjoy doing it and would love to do more of these. And also comment if there's any artists or artworks that you would love to see in the future.